Good afternoon and welcome to Monday Afternoon on Bad Dog Comedy TV, live on YouTube and Ayaka's Kitchen. Please welcome your host, Ayaka. my head because I did not want to ruin my head and I'm crispy crisp crisp toast again so all good all good hi I'm Ayaka nice to see you again it's uh, Ayaka's kitchen it's my kitchen and I'm rolling sushi every week with sometimes it's delicious sometimes mysterious ingredients from different culture different countries and today I have something delicious i know it's gonna be delicious because i already tried it a little bit <laughs> i tried a little bit but i know it's gonna be good and i know it's gonna be a great show because i have my really 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 good friend with me here and again asians don't say this but i'm saying this i love her don't tell her but i love her so Asians don't say this. Asians don't say I love you, but uh, I lo I love her. So uh, let's welcome this this amazing person, amazing friend. So yes, let's welcome Shihen. Hey everybody. Also, uh, I I love her too. I <laughs> I love her. Okay. We are not supposed to say it, but yes. We are, we are, we are good. We are good. We are good. <laughs> I'm having. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this way, this way. Yeah, how are you doing, Shihen? I'm so good. I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for coming oh, to my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let's get into it. So tell us about your background. Well, I'm Chinese. I, I am Mandarin speaking Chinese and I immigrated to Canada when I was eight. So before that, I, I was born and raised in uh, the northeastern region of China, which is called in Chinese. It's Dongbei, northeast. And uh, it's not a province. It just encompasses three different provinces. But China is so big, as you know, I think it's the fourth biggest country in the world. Is it fourth? It's like fifth? U.S., Russia same about the same size and then u.s and russia no russia is number one russia is huge i learned in geographic class that like uh japan's 20 uh u.s is 27 times bigger than japan like geographically and then US same as uh, maybe canada canada is also 27 times i think canada so, like, is russia, huge i didn't i didn't realize that canada is so much bigger than u.s until i I watched like a geography thing. I think it was a Jonas's AJ's um uh, one of his <laughs> high tea. Wait, okay, high tea, watch it, full <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was on there. Um anyway, China's like in, in the top five, probably. So <laughs> so there's so many different dialects, there's so many different styles of food in every region. And um I don't know about all of them, but I do know that there's the Dongbei, where I'm from, there's like a, a Shanghai, which is mid east in China. So they have a slightly different taste. Their taste is sweeter. Their food tends to be sweeter. And then there's southern, which is more Canton region. And Dongbei is uh, it's very different from Cantonese food. The taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, 
you mentioned people also look different. I I have seen like many like northern Chinese people are much like taller and pale skin, and then like from south, uh, it's a little bit more tan skin, and then often shorter. It's like it's such a huge country that yeah. shows that like people people look different. Yeah, the climate, everything. Um, it's it's much much colder up in Dongbei, so it affects everything. I've heard that Dongbei people are more like outgoing. They joke more. I don't know. It might be just a stereotype, but sure, <laughs> I'll take it. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So food is different from different regions of China. Today it's the northeast, and you know, I'm so sorry. I already tried a little bit. And I want to show some other dishes. I got before before you introduce your dish. I got okay. this. Uh, Sean, would you? Yeah, thank you. A pancake and yeah. this noodle dish. I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> it's it's, it's called uh, zajiang mian, which zajiang means noodles mm. or pasta, and mm. uh, zajiang means like fried sauce, basically. So what it is? Yeah. It's it's soybean. Paste mixed with meat if if people want to put meat in. And what you do with the noodles and the cucumber and the noodles uh, and the sauce is you you mix it up all together into this like messy pile and then you eat it like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like my yeah. type of food, messy yes. food. Yeah. And then like pancake. And so far, like all the things that I have tasted is uh, less. Less oily and like more subtle tasting to me compared mm -hmm. to like what I thought of all the Chinese food is. I did not know the different regions have different things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a so, lot of food. Sorry to interrupt. Um, a lot of the food uh, here I've heard is, you know, Americanized, Canadianized. So, um, so it is, it's like greasier, oilier to cater to like Western tastes, I guess. I mean, yeah. I don't really go to those uh restaurants because i just get food at home you know yeah oh you're yeah. lucky you're lucky yeah so yeah so tell us the ingredient that you picked from the north northern east northeast china china yes so this is uh this is a soup and it's called suan cai zhu rou dun fen piao in chinese there, oh there it is and it just it's just a title listing the ingredients. Suan Sai is pickled cabbage. Juro is pork. Duan means a stew. And Fen Tiao is uh, glass noodles, which is um, yam flour made uh, noodles. And it tastes different from rice noodles because rice noodles are, they kind of fall apart quite easily. And glass noodles have this like chewy, bouncier texture to it. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bouncia. Bouncia is like exactly <laughs> the adjective <laughs> we can use for this. So pickled cabbage, is that like a common thing or it's only in the soup? It's it's very, very common. So um, because Dongbei is so far north, um, back in the day, I, I'm sure things are different now, but back in the day um, before refrigeration, plus China has historically been a poor country, especially the very poor folk who live in the rural parts and peasants or and our farmers um, in the winter, everything is snow covered. And so um, suan cai is pickled cabbage. Cabbage in Chinese is bai cai. Bai cai is one of the only um, vegetables that is readily around and is cheap enough for any family to have that plus radish. So mm -hmm. uh, so families will just collect a winter's worth of ca uh, of cabbage every year. Um, and sometimes they'll they'll dig a hole, like a a giant hole in the ground, put cabbage in it, and bury it, and that's their form of refrigeration. Or um, or they pickle it. So that's what suan cai is. I remember yeah. when I was like maybe six, like old, like a really young kid, but old enough to remember this. My grandma had this huge, huge clay pot. Kind of like a pot you would plant something in, but but massive, and mm -hmm. it was as tall as me. I had to stand on my toes to look into it. I remember, and the smell. Oh my god, it was so sour. That's what people <laughs> use to ferment uh, cabbage. They they you uh, you. I think you have to boil it first, make sure it's clean. Then you uh -huh. put so much cabbage into this giant clay pot, fill it with water, put salt in it, and then just cover it. And that's wow. how. Yeah, and and suan cai is used in so so many dishes. In Dongbei. 
And is it just salt? Like it, if it's yeah, salt it's salt. Like and you just leave it, and then it turns sour. I, I think. <laughs> my, I had this conversation with my mom, so I was asking her um, how you ferment it, and she doesn't really know. And she said, "No, I'm pretty sure we didn't have salt back then. Like that was too expensive. Nobody's salt. dumping in salt. Yeah, nobody's dumping in that much salt. I'm pretty sure it was just water." Was so like, was sure? it? Is it closer to like mountainside, like not close to the ocean at all? Um, so there's a part of China that touches the sea mm -hmm. in Dongbei. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think you have to put salt in. How are you supposed to ferment pickle a vegetable without it? But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Even in Toronto, there's Cabbage Town. And I, if I'm, please, Please research by yourself, anybody. If you're yes, watching. please. Me too. I, I'm pretty sure it was like Irish or yeah, European country, or maybe not. Maybe Ukraine or European country. Like immigrants came to Toronto and then they couldn't grow lots of vegetables, so decided to have like cabbage, and then they became famous. Like, okay, cabbage is the easiest and also like nutritious, I guess. Yeah. To Our grow food? and yeah, so yeah, those things. So that's why like there's a uh part of toronto it's called cabbage town it's what i remember Whoa. i might be wrong i might be wrong i believe yeah, it that sounds legit to me that's awesome yeah. so cabbage seems like uh for cold uh climate i think yeah it's, yeah uh, right. and the food from don't is it, there's similarities to uh russia mongolian food north korea why oh, it's right next to all three of those places but yes, yeah. everything is like all over Europe, Eastern, Northern, everywhere. Yeah, those like colder places, like I mm -hmm. bet like Romania or yeah, Russia, definitely. Yeah. yeah, those places have lots of cabbage. <laughs> yeah, and Korea definitely has lots of kimchi, which is another yes. form of pickled uh, cabbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so many like similarities, that's so cool. And um, yeah, now I started cutting things and great. I fished some, <laughs> some noodles from It's there. great. Oh, I love it. And then I just cut the meat into like strips. And mm -hmm. yeah, what about the meat? This is pork, you said? Pork? Yeah, pork. It's usually pork. Pork is the cheapest meat. And it's a common meat to eat? Yeah, I mean, if you have money. My mom has told me stories of when she was young um living in a in in the rural they call it nongtsun i'm not sure what the translation would be but it's it's where you know the peasants the farmers live farmers i think is what you would call oh. it <laughs> yeah uh we have to grow your own food the toilet is like a hole in the ground kind of thing and she said that they were people are so poor that it's rare to have even meat you eat mm. eggs and you eat you know fat whenever you can get it Tofu. Wow. Yeah. That's how your mom grew up? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And now mm -hmm. she, she's a, a successful scholar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's doing her PhD. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm making wow. it sound like it was, we were like, my family comes from like real, real poverty. And although they weren't rich, um, it, they weren't the poorest. Both of grandparents were educated and had jobs and stuff. So yeah, there there are people who don't go to school because they can't. Mm. Man, that, I went back to China a mm -hmm. couple of years ago, three years ago, right before yeah. I started improv. I was in China visiting family, and yeah. I was shocked at the wealth disparity. Mm. Just the street food you get is so cheap, but mm -hmm. then you go to a fancy restaurant, and it's it's incredibly expensive. Just mm -hmm. whoever has money has so much of it, and whoever doesn't have money has very, very little of it. And it's very mm -hmm. hard to, to earn money, get more, yeah. and, and grow. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like that here. People who are really rich are really rich. It's like that mm -hmm. everywhere. But the, the how do you say, the Huge, margin is yeah, like mm. wild, wild. Yeah. Wow. And so this food is for people who had less money? Um. Yeah. This is like comfort food. This is like, yeah, this is like, I don't know. <laughs> we were, we were uh, right before this video started, uh, Ayaka was plating it and she was like, well, they, they gave me the noodles and it's like all mixed together. I'm not sure how to plate it. And I was like, <laughs> Ayaka, it's okay, I just dump it in the plate. It's supposed to be messy. 
<laughs> I tried. Comfort food in China isn't like pretty, you know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. bits of meat on bone with a lot of sauce, a lot of flavor put on a plate. Yeah. 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 Well, it looks it looks um yeah, it's ready to be eaten. And <laughs> <laughs> and and it's good it tastes amazing oh i haven't told you the story like when i went to this restaurant to pick up this food um it was, it was amazing this uh it, this food is from yummy yummy dumplings sean if you like but the uh, yummy yummy dumplings it's on huron it's a corner of huron and danda street close to that corner and it was amazing i went there and i'm wearing a mask and the lady is just talking to me in Chinese. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I don't speak the, the language. But she's just like insisting to speak in Chinese, Mandarin to me. And and then um, I wanted to, um, yeah, I already ordered online. I went to pick it up. and But it was not ready. So she's like, she want me to sit down to wait. But like she's about to touch me. And then like all those like, and then she realized, oh, I shouldn't touch you because of this uh, pandemic and everything. But like so friendly. Yeah. So friendly. And, I, and that made me so happy. And I knew few Chinese words. I said like che -she, like thank you and mm -hmm. like goodbye. And then like she had the biggest smile. She was so happy. And Aww. yeah, I was like, I have to come back here. It was like so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And the that's food nice. I already tasted a little bit. It was yeah, food tastes good, like feels good kind of place. So thank you mm -hmm. for introducing me to that place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I haven't been to it. I just, I was looking up specifically uh, food from my region, mm -hmm. which I had never, I had before the show, I had never done this before. I just, uh, I wanted something authentic to my childhood. And mm -hmm. um, because it's so specific, I didn't expect to find a restaurant, but there is. I look And looking through the menu, it's like stuff that my mom cooks for me. And I told her oh, about this restaurant too and expecting her to be like, I can just cook that for you. But she's excited too. So after this, we're going to go try it. <laughs> Oh, so nice. Yeah. 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 It was a very nice, friendly place for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm making sushi. So I already have seaweed and I just put rice everywhere and I'll just flip it and I'm going to start putting things in there. So is there any order? Doesn't matter, I guess. No, just throw it in, yeah. pile it in. <laughs> That's how you eat it. So just making this soup sushi and noodles first and putting porks here and of course the cabbage pickled cabbage yes yes do you ever put like spicy things do you eat spicy food i sometimes? love spice i put spice if there's chili oil i put chili oil i oh, put hot pepper i put too many i love it <laughs> yeah. they gave me chili oil so yeah hmm. definitely I'll do you eat spicy that i love spicy food mm. Yeah. Okay. So I think that looks good. Decent. All the meat is in every piece of sushi. So I'm gonna just roll it. So how was the uh, transition coming from China to Toronto or anywhere else in Canada? Um. So I came here with my mom. She didn't speak any English. My father did though, and so he helped us get through immigration. And then he went back to China because he had. A, a really good job back in China as, an, as a shipping engineer. And so my mom and I stayed, neither of us spoke English. Uh, and I stayed for six months, it was fine. I don't know, I was a kid, I was so young, I was like seven. But it was hard for my mom to take care of me and, and do everything else. So uh, I went back to China, lived with my, my family there uh, for oh. another half a year or so. And then I came here again, and then I stayed here with my mom. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Your yeah. mom didn't speak English when, yeah. when she first moved here. Yeah, and she took adult high school, learned English, yeah. And now she's a PhD student. Yeah. <sighs> yeah what yeah, yeah. an inspiring person. <laughs> she's incredible, wow. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And then she cooks a lot of different um, Chinese food at home. Yeah, she just cooks like the comfort food that she grew up with. Oh, and, and she's so. Her? Yeah, she's so she's so humble about it. She's just like, ah, oh, this isn't good. Which I think is a very Chinese thing. You'd be like, oh, it, it's not good. And then expect a compliment back. But um, <laughs> yeah, lots of comfort food. Yeah. Do you, oh. are Japanese people like that too? I don't know. Yeah, we say, no, no, no. We, we, we are humble, like, oh, no, no, no. 
no bragging and stuff. But yeah, probably mm. I'm feeling really good when people give me compliments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So what kind of snacks do you have at home? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm taking a really long break thinking. Um, uh, so other dishes that she'd cook, I snacks wise, anything, any food. What did you learn how to cook? What did uh, what did your mom show you how to cook? Um, I I didn't learn anything. I didn't try. <laughs> she loves cooking for me, so she like never. Oh. I remember when I started cooking for myself, and she would say my food was bad. And I think it's because she wanted to keep cooking for me. Like, I feel like she was afraid that if I knew how to cook, then I wouldn't need her anymore. Oh, no. Now she, now she, I, that's what I think. Now yeah. I cook and I, and I make food for both of us sometimes. And she says yeah. it's, it's good, but yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so nice. yeah. So nice. Okay. I got my parsley out. So would you like to see it? It looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Introduce the name of the roll. Try saying it. Oh, you don't have to. No pressure. Swan Choi Ju Ro Dan Pen Tiao Ro. That's really good. That's really? awesome. Yeah, well, you're missing the tones, but yep, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. I can read uh, Chinese, but I don't know how to pronounce them. So, like, I oh, can you see that in, in Japanese. Yeah. Please. Sean, could you be happy? Mm -hmm. So, like, the first letter is like acidic, and second yeah. one is like um, green vegetable kind of thing, and then yeah. pork, meat. Yeah. Oh, the next one is I don't know that word. I don't think we have that word in Japanese. Okay. And then powder, and I don't know the last. I, I know the last word, but I don't know how. Uh, what is it? <laughs> uh huh. Fentiao, it's together. Yeah. But wow, that's incredible because I can't read that. Like I might recognize like row. That's <laughs> that's Ro. so funny that you can read Chinese and basically understand it, but I can't. That's, that's wild. So funny. But I don't know how to pronounce them in Chinese way. So I lived in Taiwan for two months. So like uh -huh. all my communication or like oh maybe I told you this before, but um reading the re mem memorizing the street names by the by how it's spelled out. But I don't yeah. know how to pronounce them, so I couldn't communicate with people. Okay, let's meet at that street. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I did not know how to pronounce them. Yeah. That's crazy though. That's like that's like speaking two languages basically. You basically know Japanese and Chinese. Oh, I no. heard this. I heard this from somebody that um, Japanese people want to start phasing out Chinese characters because it's too hard to learn. Is that true or is that? I don't think rumor. that's true at all. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. I don't Lies. think so. It is hard. It is hard, but yeah, it's. Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible. It's so much in our language as well. That, mm. Yeah, but there are thousands of them. So yeah. maybe facing some not commonly used ones, maybe that could be. Okay, but, okay. Yeah, who told you that? <laughs> I don't know, some, <laughs> some liar apparently. <laughs> Someone who wants to start shit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I don't know. Maybe uh, there's something that I don't know. But uh -huh. yeah, as far as I know, like yeah, <laughs> like my my real name is spelled in Chinese letters. What? Mo yeah, most people, most Japanese people, I would say like ninety percent, ninety five percent of Japanese people's name are spelled like actual, like on the official document. That's all Chinese letters. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I feel like so people cool. are probably confused. Like why does Aika know Chinese letters? It's because well, maybe you should explain because I don't really. Uh, I'm not good at it. Yeah, Japanese language has three different alphabets, and one of them is Chinese letters. But we we spell them same, but we read them, pronounce them very differently. So I can read them, but and I and understand the meanings of them, but I don't know how to pronounce them in Chinese. Yeah. Crazy. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, and and some of my uh, Chinese pronunciation I learned from uh, playing mahjong. So oh, <laughs> donbe is like <laughs> when, when you say donbe, like I was like, oh, that's like east, uh, east and north. Yeah. Oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, mahjong. I was addicted to mahjong at some point. Do you play mahjong? 
I my mom taught me once, and I'm trying to get her to play with me now, but she won't. Oh, <laughs> Mahjong is typically a it's like a social game, uh, but it's 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 like a gambling game. You don't yeah. have to gamble, but it's like po it's like Chinese poker basically. Yeah, that's, that's so yeah. cool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we should play together. Yeah, we should play. I'll bring my mom. Is your <laughs> okay. awesome? Okay, so I think it's time for me to try this sushi and see if it's good or very good. <laughs> so um, I have this soy sauce that they gave me, so I'm gonna dip it in here as well as this chili oil <laughs> that looks mm. deadly spicy. But yeah, why not? I'll just like dip that. In there and then see so sean you can put drum roll for me so no one has to listen to me chewing and she hey if you want to do that like this, you know? oh i don't know how to roll my r's i'm chinese i'll do this though good yes it cannot be bad <laughs> this is like yeah like how could it be bad it's so good <laughs> sick is it very sour i'm curious because i haven't had it from this restaurant mm, no cool it's good but i think i put too much chili oil so it's pretty spicy <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah but i will try this um um pickled cabbage mm. and now i'm thinking is this um hakusai nappa cabbage maybe not the regular cabbage i wonder i uh i think there's chinese cabbage mm -hmm. yeah this one, uh, yeah i think it's like um i think they call it nappa cabbage in in english i saw that nappa cabbage uh, Ooh, i'm gonna google it right now <laughs> yeah yeah it's a. Uh, it's the more like um longer one, right? Yes. The, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, softer, softer green vegetable has like lots of white parts on the bottom. Oh, uh, they're so yeah. good in hot pot. Hot pot, I put so much of that. <laughs> Gosh, have hot pot together. Oh yes, mm -hmm. it's a type of Chinese cabbage originating near the Beijing region of China. Wow. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so, it's my people good. Love cabbage. That's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, I have no complaints. I knew it was gonna be good, and of course it's good. So like, is it too boring, my reaction? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm jealous. I wish I could eat some too. I will, yeah. in a week. I'm timing this Yeah, uh, and I wanted to say one thing. Shihen wanted to try Peking duck as the ingredient first, but it was very expensive, and we couldn't find anything cheap. Yeah. And yeah, but like I was willing to have it, but I think this was great that this is more like your actual culture, actual yeah. like style of food. Uh, I thought so Peking that duck. So, sorry to interrupt. I thought Peking duck because I don't know. This is the first thing I think of when I think of Chinese cuisine that I have had. Mm. But I, after talking mm -hmm. to my mom, she's like, "That's not Dongbei. That's not where we're from." So, okay. So, so I'm, glad, I'm glad. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is way more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me. This this is great. This is Shihen. This is Shihen's food, and it's delicious. So that's good. Um. Yeah. Adding that to Peking duck story, I talked to Coco yesterday, and then, uh, Shihen suggested Peking duck first, but like, yeah, it's pretty fancy and pricey. And Coco was like, "What Peking duck? If you pick Peking duck, I'll just give you more budget, so you can, <laughs> and I'll be there. I'm gonna have Peking duck. That's how Coco loves." <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, one day let's do that joint episode. I would love that. <laughs> yeah, Peking duck sushi. Oh, that that's fancy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it was great. I'm so happy to hear your stories too. It was delicious and it was very interesting and Thanks amazing. For having me. Yeah, you and your family. Like, yeah, amazing, amazing stories. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you so for much. sharing. I don't usually get to talk about my family, my history, my childhood to this extent on any show that I've ever been on. So this has been Oh really yeah. I would like to hear more. And I, I I should learn more Chinese from you. Your pronunciation is dead on. We can yeah. each other. I should learn Chinese from you. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Shihen. And uh yes. Uh, I think Sean showed you this a little bit. There's a donation uh, site, but doctheater.com, Ayaka's Kitchen. 
And yes, let's keep the shows running. Bad Dog is so good for this community, doing so many shows. And yeah, let's get that going. <laughs> and thank you, Sean. Sean's doing all the technical things in the sound and this whole te technical online based shows. So thank you, Sean. And thank you, yeah. Sean. Thank you, Coco. Thank you, Bad Dog. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'm going to keep eating this because it's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, let me know. <laughs> so good, so good. So yeah, thank you, Shihen. And yeah, I'll talk to you very soon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 Bye.